Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with author, entrepreneur, thought leader Seth Godin. Seth, welcome to the show. Thanks, Brian. It's amazing. The light bulb, I think, has gone on for so many people that that's what it's about. I mean, uh, I think you mentioned it in the book, too. There's this great example of, is it Joshua Bell, who's the uh, violinist? violinist. Yeah. And it's just about playing to the right audience yep. or not. And it's what you challenge us to think about is, uh, you know, if you're not getting the attention that you're looking for, possibly you either A, are playing to the wrong audience, or B, you're not making good enough, uh, good stuff. enough stuff. Right. Yeah. And Joshua Bell's a great example. The Washington Post, I think, right, wrote exactly. this up uh, in He stood in the subway with a baseball cap on and thousands of people walked by. Nobody cared. Right. And yet, he could pack a concert hall, a few hundred dollars a ticket, right. and it's just amazing the difference. Let's talk about picking yourself. Okay. This is something that I think you've gotten good at, but were you always good at it? Let's, let's maybe unpack it a little bit. Sure. Talk about what it means to pick yourself and then give us some, some personal story. Well, all of us are surrounded by people who can't wait to get picked. Authors used to need to be on Oprah. Uh, Clive Davis's autobiography just came out, What Could He Do for a Living? He picked people. Uh, we want to get picked by the local political party. We want to be picked by our boss. We get picked, which authorizes us to do this art. So I'm just waiting for Poetry Magazine to call me. <laughs> I sent them my, my, my stuff two weeks ago. I don't know where they are. I'm waiting yeah. for this job to come in, right? Yeah. And what happened is that these gatekeepers all at once lost their power. If you want to make a record, make a record. Put it on iTunes. Pick yourself. If you want to write, write. Build a blog. Pick yourself. If you want to start a software company, you don't need a permit. You don't need anything. You just start it. And so we see authors and writers and singers and entrepreneurs and physical therapists and anyone who wants to, because we're all now collect one click away from each other, raise their hand and say, I'm in. Here's what I make. Here's what I do. That doesn't mean everyone needs to be self-employed. That's not what I'm saying. You can right. work for a big company and you can organize the weekly lunch book club. Why not? There's no rule against it. Even HR doesn't care if you do that. Send a memo out to 50 people, you meet once a week, and you all read a book together. That idea of picking yourself is available now because communication is so easy. And what frustrates me to no end is, you know, if some people read my blog, and I'll get notes 10, 20, 30, 40 a day saying, pick me, put me on your blog. Now, yeah. I've never done that for anyone. Yeah. I don't make careers. That's <laughs> not what I do. But they still are so desperate to be picked. And I'll, I've written a blog post called First 10. And what the post says is, give your work to 10 people. And if it's good, and they're the right 10 people, they'll tell 10 people, now you have 100. And if it's good, they'll tell 1,000. And once you have 1,000 true fans, you're in, right? right? If the first 10 don't do anything with it, your work's not good enough, or they're the wrong 10 people. Right. So I send this link to the people who say, pick me. And about 80% of the time, I never hear from them again. <laughs> because they don't want to pick themselves. They want the security and the deniability from someone else picking them, right? That if you don't have time to do it right, when are you gonna have time to do it over? That if you got time to be rejected by 400 media outlets, you probably have time to build your own media outlet in the meantime.